Oh yeah, here we go. Now we talk, that's a nice reach. The Aqual Teke car refrigerator, 12 volt refrigerator, 30 liter, that is a portable refrigerator or portable freezer. Here we go, it looks really nice out of the box. So let's see now what's included inside it, what kind of accessory I have with it, and also a tour of its functionality. Here we go. First of all, I'm very impressed by the build quality. It's very strong, very sturdy. On the side here, we do have the control panel. Here we have the lid, the main lid for the fridge. Here we go. It's open. It has two compartments, but it has a separator here. So you can choose to either separate both compartments or just use the wall compartment as a big one like you can see right now. Here are the accessory box. I like the chain here that will uh, hold the lid so it does not uh, trip over in the back like so. And it click very nicely, close very nicely up with a click action here. Now let's have a look to the accessory box. What they give me with the fridge. Here we do have some power block. All right, first power cord. It's actually a 12 slash 24 volt power cord that you plug in your car and then on the other side in the fridge. So you can power this fridge either with your car or your truck. It takes 12 or 24 volt input. And then of course we have the classic 110 volt power block goes to the fridge and to your normal AC plug. And extra, look at that. They also give us some extra pad, foot pad. From the bottom of the fridge, there is like this uh, soft pad. And if one gets uh, damaged or broken, they give you two replacement ones. So with a self adhesive bag that you have to peel off and then you can replace one of those pads so should be four of those pads in the bottom of the fridge. And then we have two extra right there. And of course, the user menu. Now we do have another compartment here. I'm going to open here. This compartment is completely isolated from the fridge compartment. So it's not going to get cold. You can store your phone or, or any other accessory you want to bring along with the fridge. And then you don't necessarily want to keep in your pocket. You can keep it in this compartment. And here, there is a 5 volt, uh, 1.5 amp USB port. So in case if you want to use that to charge your phone, while of course the fridge is plugged in, you can use that USB plug as well. For instance, you put your phone here in this compartment and you plug it here and then it will charge. While of course the fridge is plugged in unless you have the battery version. This is the non-battery version, I prefer this one. But if you have the battery version, there will be a battery here and then you can use the battery to recharge your phone or use the fridge when it's not connected. But this one, it has to be connected to power in order to work correctly. And of course, when you close this compartment, here you have two slots to put your soda can. So that could be also handy. On the side of the fridge, you have two handles, which allows you to carry the fridge very easily. And here on the right side, we do have the plug where you have to plug your power adapter, either the 12, 24 volt adapter or the AC plug will be here connected on the side plug here on the right side of the fridge when you are facing the fridge like so. As for the inside dimension, let's have a look. Without of course the separating segment, I'll leave that out. Let's measure the dimension of the fridge itself. So we do have here about 14 inches by nine and a half, 975 inches and deep we have a little bit more than 12 inches deep. So here you go for the inside fridge dimension. All right, it's been uh, more than 12 hours that the fridge have been in a standing position out of the box. So now the compressor should be good to go. Anyway, let's plug the power block uh, that goes to the AC plug uh, and then to the fridge like so. The side that says 12 slash 24 volts. And now let's see how noisy it is and all this uh, fridge works. Here we go. First power up, press the power button and watch for the big smoke. <laughs> mm. 
Now let's have a look of how it works. And of course, first, don't forget to remove the protective plastic. If you have your screen that looks a little bit weird, it's normal. That means it has a protective plastic that you can just peel out like so. And now it's much better. As we saw the power button to turn on or off the fridge. Next, we have the setting button, which is to switch between echo or max. Press once, I get max. Here we go, set and press another time and I select echo function right here. The plus or minus button to increase or decrease the cold, of course. So that's the set here temperature and that's the current temperature of the fridge. And then if you don't like the Fahrenheit, if you want to change to Celsius, it's very easy. You press simultaneously this uh, setting button and the plus button for a few seconds. Here we go. Now we have Celsius, degree Celsius here instead of Fahrenheit. Put it back to Fahrenheit for now. Here we go. And that's pretty much it for the basic function that you can get on your screen. And of course, if you have a app, you can have the possibility to adjust some more setting in the app. But when you travel, maybe you don't have your app with you or you forgot to install it. At least you have the basic function right there on the screen. I like also the LCD screen. It has a very nice number here, very sharp and easy to read. And it is also quite bright as well. There we go. I set it up actually to 40 degrees Fahrenheit. As you can see here, it's 40 and it stopped. It says it's 37 now. It stopped uh, around 39 and it's uh, keep going down because it's still very cold inside. So that's great. Now let's find out how cold it is. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's great. Let's get a quick measurement. Here we go. Almost as described, 35.8 when it says 36 here. So that's great. Totally accurate as well. All right, here we go. The nice fridge from Akal Teke. Hope you enjoyed this video and hope it has been useful for you. Thanks again for watching. I'm going to really use this fridge everywhere I travel to now. And well, enjoy yours and see you next time. Bye bye.